Welcome back. Everyone just kind of dropped down in the middle of the, the white bunker here. Ooh, okay. So, oh, that's, it startled me because I was like, oh, no, there's an entire other crow monster to deal with. But no, that it, it would still be the same one. Mm, right. Do I want to start using this? I might. I might switch to this. Uh, it's like a little bit annoying to have to like swap all these out all the time but at least that one is uh hanging out right at the bottom of the list not too tricky i don't know if i could put a bullet in that thing's head <laughs> like put it out of its uh sick twisted misery or whatever the hell there's like a temptation to try but i i don't think i will mess around with that i didn't expect that to be a, a little loop i i maybe that's necessary for like avoiding things if you if you actually don't want to fight yeah, that's probably a means of, of dodging around those enemies that I insisted you probably have to fight. This is more likely to be a dead end, I think. This little, like, conference room. So let's go check out this first. Totally nothing in here. Hmm. And let's scope out this side of things. That, that south end of it all. Oh, good. More gas canisters. I, I don't think it matters so much at this stage. Um, yeah. All that stuff in the south must be where I have to go. It, the environment changes down there to, like, a rocky area. So it, it kind of felt a little bit transitional. And, like, maybe that, um, indicative that that, that would be a new area. Or the next area. Oh, shit. He's just, like, right there. Um... Let's see, can we get it get in like behind him then? <laughs> you fool. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked how well that worked. All right, well, let's go uh, fight him now before he spins around and shoots his own shots at us. Both limbs gone, perfecto. First time using the, uh, the black steel. It, it, it should be slightly weaker, but that like double crit chance is what I'm uh, rooting for it's like 40% or whatever oh shit yeah I think I think that's probably worth it that is some like crazy damage to do when the crit does hit I heard a cat below me <laughs> meowing for attention do not see cat I must be getting a little low on pistol ammo especially shooting like two per enemy in the field like that I'm not always doing two per, but the times where I do, I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably draining that a little quickly. Hmm. But I know I still have the rifle available. What? That's unexpected. Uh, the big horn sound. That's just part of the music, I think, maybe. A little bit intimidating. Hmm. I'm I'm curious if I, if that hallway or whatever I was seeing there, if I can just get to it a different way. That right there would have been like where where that blocked door. Hmm. What the hell can I do then? I don't really have a ton of mind to spare. That's just gonna keep dwindling. Um, that felt worth trying. <laughs> I don't actually want to get close to it, though, in case it pecks me the way that the game said it might. I don't know what kind of one-shot bullshit might happen there. Had I not finished exploring? No, I didn't. I didn't go to all this, did I? Oh, it's a whole new generator. Emergency backup generator. Seems like it's been in use recently, but now it's out of gasoline. Uh, will that just turn on the ability to use that door? Could that possibly? Hmm. Uh, I, shit, now I don't remember if there was more on the other side of this. There might have been. But it's just a loop. This, uh, and I don't think there's anything down there. I think, I think I'm, I don't think I've gotten spun around just yet. But what exactly... Mm, I should check out this room with the generator on. 
all the wires are like ripped out of everything. I, I don't think any of that is really like active. This stuff was all beeping and booping already anyways. Is it more so now? Seems about the same, I think. S seemingly it was just a matter of uh, getting access here. Wait. <laughs> uh, if this is reinforced again, then like... Can I even? It is reinforced again. Maybe if I get really, if I get a, a critical hit on it. Cause like these guys can't, what, what other, what other solution is available to me? Oh, so they turned it on. Oh, th that's all it is. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking without having the character who knows how to do that, that none of that would work. I'm not, not messing around with hunger. Uh, you guys might as well load up on some delicious eats so that uh, we we pull up and out of it before we let the weakness from hunger kick in at all. So there you guys go. You're, you're a little, little bit better off. Logic this way still. I'm, I must be coming up on a boss. Please tell me I don't have to fight anything with hands that size. <laughs> what are we going to do? Oh. Oh, wait. None of these. None of these are seemingly working because of the generator. But, like. Oh, shit. Okay. New, new enemy type patrolling around. Where did it go? It's like Batman and Catwoman and a rabbit all in one. The masked army officer gives you a flirtatious smile and seductively waves you to follow her. So we're not f following like the white rabbit down the tunnel. We got the gimp rabbit. Something big is advancing in the darkness. Oh God. And I, like that's, um, I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. A platoon and its commander face off with you. What are we calling the platoon? That entire lump of bodies is the platoon, maybe? Uh, I, I, I literally just wanted to, Sylvian Trooper. And so is this thing, oh, this is the platoon. It's just one big mass? What the shit? So surely I, I, I must need to focus on this. I'm, I'm a little bummed I have the gun drawn after, after all that. So that's that's one turn kind of skipped, which is not great. Uh, a, a whip. I thought you were holding like a gun. That makes more sense just based on what this character is. Olivia's a little hurt. Just a tiny bit. Not enough that I was very concerned, but now I'm fighting like a, a humanoid tank. Even its tongue is like made out of like, what am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> hmm. Well, now let's just blast the torso, right? Because most human characters, once you've taken out their, like, weapon hand, they can kind of just tackle. So I'm, I'm not that concerned about removing its other... Move, you fat fuck! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, so it it just attacked the platoon to make the platoon attack. I, okay, that's surely lucky, right? And that was succeeding a coin toss? Jesus. Okay, uh, uh, we, we gotta kill you before you continually pull that shit out. I'm, I was really, I'm really banking on getting one of those crits here. Do a nice thousand damage to the body all at once. That would be fantastic. There we go. The platoon is confused. It attacked when it got uh, hit by its, like, commanding officer or whatever. Is literally all I can do here is just... Just throw as much at it as possible, but every time is it going to attack me because of that? Uh, okay, time to really consult the, the skill pool. You have very little that I think will be of use. 
Oh, now, now the cat that was previously looking for attention, here she is, Misty. Uh, keep me company while I probably get my ass absolutely beat. Thanks for, thanks for the hangout. Thanks for thinking of me. I, I guess I will get Marco dodging, even though he has the rev, like, ready to go. Um, I don't understand pheromones. Like, doesn't that just mean Olivia's gonna get wrecked? Yeah, that's, I, mm, no, I don't, I don't think that's any good. I, <laughs> I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, flash puppetry? Let's get some, uh... Let's get some spare limbs on the field participating in this, shall we? I I uh, I think it's the first time I've done that. Ooh, look at this little dancing hands flailing around and things. Very complicated animation for that. I have no lucky coins. All right, what happens when you actually get hit by this? Oh, sick! You instantly lose the game. Like, what the fuck was that? Is that serious? Is, how do you mitigate that? This thing doesn't have, like, limbs to shoot off or anything like that. You can't... How do you counter that? This is this is why I started cheesing the game. Because, like, what do you do? It is impossible. <laughs> you just have to get lucky a thousand attempts in a row? That's fucking stupid. All right, so I, I actually did drop a save, like, pretty shortly before then. My thinking was like, all right, if this game has some uh, some difficult encounters... Oh, there, I thought there was something on my camera there. Um, <laughs> something on the scale of, like, that the Moonless fight, um, where it, it you, you can learn and adapt and, and overcome it, then sure, I'll go back to the start of the bunker and push through all that and and like do the game properly in that sense if the game if the end of the game is you now have to fight a thing that is capable of one-shotting you then like what the fuck is that so i i don't even care it's ridiculous and so i don't even feel bad about going to this save and and skipping redoing all that uh, cause that's just, I'm not, why? Why make me redo 40 f some minutes of game? You know what? I'm gonna try and kill this thing. Hmm. That didn't achieve anything. That's unfortunate. Alright, well let's, I, I guess let's get the, uh, the sword back in play then. I am curious... Yeah, you, you can't move. You can't do anything about it. You're you're locked in at that point. <sighs> All right. Well, back at it. I this is kind of like um surely there's some optimal way to have approached the game where you have the right party members and the right equipment and things that could help you through this battle. But without knowing that, on like a first attempt through the game, you're never going to have that. You're never going to have done all the required steps. And so like, throwing myself against this a thousand times over and hoping I get lucky is not a fun way to play the game. This is stupid. It almost makes me want to cheat to just skip this boss. Uh... I get, I, I, I'll I try it a few more times, and I guess I will attempt to find alternate approaches to this. But it kind of seems like you're just set up to fail. And so that... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I guess the point is that you're supposed to learn these lessons and then go back and do another uh, attempt. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I, I, I think what I don't... I don't want a gun. Because I can't... I can't shoot that thing from the field anyways. The the platoon commander or whatever it was called. So instead, I think I just try and charge it maybe. Okay. Yeah, so you can make that fight happen. Hmm. Aren't you impatient? 
Yeah, I am, I'm not going to wait around for you to call that thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> let's just, uh, let's get this over with. You and I. Just, just us are facing, facing off. And then, because this thing shows up, like, riding that, so it clearly goes and, like, I don't know, fetches it. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that doesn't matter then, does it? Dimwit took you long enough. Oh, shit. Um... We can probably kill this before it whips that. The platoon is confused. And maybe I can blind it? The idea of blinding this enormous thing, like, it, it feels unlikely. Actually, Frunk, you should attack because of your high crit chance. Like, you have the potential to, to do big damage here. Didn't, didn't get it that time, but it's fine. Uh, okay, so it did hit. Whether or not this thing has eyes. Okay, so it can also just tackle you pretty aggressively. And that that does definitely suck for uh, Olivia for this turn here. Let's see, man. Uh, okay, about a thousand damage. Nice. Okay, like 1,400, another thousand. We'll see. Someone's gonna die. I die. <sighs> this is this is a stupid part of the game. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad I installed the save thing. Because if I went through two hours of bullshit to get one shot by this more than once, I'm I was. I, I was suspicious. I was suspicious we had reached a point in all of this where I was unlikely <laughs> to, to put myself through the gauntlet necessary to make it to the end, and this confirms it. I was never finishing this game if, if this is what I was going to have to put up with. So next attempt, while this thing is running away, I'm just going to cut its head off. Or at least I'm going to try to. I'm going to assume it's as dodgy as it normally is, but maybe I get a crit or something. Well, that didn't work at all. Yeah, total, total whiff on that. And now, oh, yeah, this sucks. This is kind of stupid, actually. I don't like this at all. How many coin tosses do I need to survive to see this fight through? Oh, damn it. I didn't even, I didn't even friggin' kill the guard. Ugh. All right, well, that, that was like the saddest attempt yet. Okay, well then, instead, what if I just target the torso? Because at least then I'm, I have a chance of hitting it. And, mm, what, 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 what do I have items-wise? Uh, lots of healing stuff. What does Lavender do? Oh, Lavender is good for your fears? Hmm. I've never, I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> uh, the saw blade. You you just like chuck that at things, right? Yeah, that doesn't, the odds of that, I, I, yeah. Not, not, not gonna bother on this one. Let's just focus fire the torso. And you know, maybe we get a crit in there or two. Pretty well seeming like that's not gonna happen. Well, damn it. You know, one thing is, I don't think, hmm, is this the turn that it'll, it'll attack, or does it give, like, a warning message first? It's taking aim. Oh, yeah, okay, when it when it's taking aim, it's already too late. I doubt that guarding, 171, can guard mitigate, like, 50-plus damage? Be worth a try, I guess. Oh wait, Frunk, you have the high crit, try and attack. Marco, you effectively get two chances at doing a crit, so you attack. Uh, maybe I should have, I should take pet pills before the fight. So that I can, you know, like, uh, just maybe get some extra attacks in, that would be good. Uh, so that we did get one crit, and the saw blade right into the groin. Still not enough to kill this thing in the first turn, though. Uh, so we're stuck, stuck fighting. I assume you, I assume you gotta fight that thing no matter what, although like, if you, if you killed the, the trooper in one turn, 
then maybe at least you would be back in the field and maybe have the chance to like run from this thing or or something all right so that, that was the first turn it arrived right so if i guard this turn this will be the turn it it attacks it charged okay so it didn't even it didn't even do the big thing that i was afraid of does that mean it'll do it this turn i might as well just spend my rev whoops I guess you could rev up guarding, is that, does that make your guarding more effective? It might. Not, not getting any of those, uh, there's, there's a crit in there somewhere. But, is it just gonna be a, a one shot now? Okay, come on, please, please. Haha. -ha. Okay, he still attacks, just not the devastating super duper attack. I think he does that every other attack I think you're you're gonna bob and weave Marco let's try and get you um, a little bit more protected let's apply some rot to this thing oh come on man <laughs> and that hit okay oh but okay so that doesn't work it doesn't happen it happens more often than I thought it did so bullshit again sweet Every, I, I only have four. I have four pet pills, so the two of you are taking them. Uh, hopefully they last <laughs> uh, up until this battle here. I assume they would. They they did. So is that enough for you guys to have extra attacks? It doesn't even seem like it. Um, maybe because your speed isn't enough more than this thing's is. That's all I can kind of think on that front. I must be so close to killing that on the first turn. I'm fucking still stuck though. I did throw oh, there. Now you get the crit. I did throw glass in that thing's face, and I don't think it did anything. <laughs> now I'm a little uncertain. Um, let's see what happens here. Oh, that was just his charge. So if that was just the charge. Then the next turn, he's going to do the thing. Oh, but that was the bonus turns. Damn it. Damn, damn. <laughs> it's just <laughs> not efficient. But let's see. Can you guard against a fucking mortar attack? Maybe I'll get lucky on this flip anyways. Nope, not at all. 88. So you can technically survive that bullshit. Um, I, okay, I have the rev here. See, these are just extra attacks. Good. Get, get that critical in there, man. And now... <laughs> uh, guard. Have I bob and weaved with you in this round? I don't think I have. What if I do loving whispers? I don't think I've really done it. And it, you just target the one character. So let's... See what happens if I loving whisper uh, Frunk here. I leave Olivia exposed, could get nuked, but we'll learn something maybe. I didn't really learn anything there. Uh, all right, everyone, everyone on guard mode. Oh, it's the fucking extra turn. Ah, oh, I'm so not used to having that. I keep wasting it. I'm I'm pissing myself off with that. That's like this is going okay. But he's not doing the thing. <laughs> this is an extra turn. <laughs> Let's just go for it. This the entire point of this thing is that it's a tank and it I don't know, it's wall, it's uh body is made out of cobblestones or whatever like this thing is probably purposely made to be very fucking impossible to kill. And now Olivia is going into this. Can you rev up? Can you rev up guarding? I need to try. Because otherwise, if he attacks her, she is just dead, I think. I guess I could get lucky on the flip. <laughs> that is lucky. <laughs> okay. We're on extra turns. Extra turns. And my, my rev economy is very good. D overall. <laughs> Okay, a thousand, a thousand, and then like 500. I don't know how much damage I've done to this thing so far. It feels like a lot. It does feel like a lot. I think I, I, 
probably just keep attacking that turn and and try to heal up again. Not a ton of damage there. Um, I don't know how often I get to do the extra moves, though. Taking aim. Is he just always going to attack Frunk with that? Hard to, hard to really know who he was going for. Whoa, okay. <sighs> Haven't really gotten this lucky before. We're doing a lot of damage. <sighs> okay. The, the last thing he did was try to do it, right? He tried to do the... So I... I maybe have a chance to here. Without the rev, though, it's, um... You really don't do a lot. I have not used rot in this attempt. So let's, let's get some rot applied. Shit! Okay! Okay! Um... I was gonna save immediately, but I guess I don't want to accidentally lock myself into some potential bullshit. Uh, there aren't exactly crevices in her body. That's really funny. Um, yeah, I don't want to save and then lock myself on the other side of something, because maybe none of this was the right thing to do. The hulking thing is dead now. It sure is. And it sure did suck to, to fight. <laughs> Didn't have a lot of fun with that one. Just kind of had to keep grinding it out till I got lucky. Uh, I don't have any beer left. So I guess it's time to, to dip into the VOD key. <laughs> Look at all of the... I've, because a few of the times I, I saved and then I would fight like a thing and then I'd be like, whatever, I'll just throw down another save. Uh, I, I, I have used quite a lot of those books, more so than I realized. Um, I've used, like, what, tw a dozen of them or something already? I already forget what the count was at. Um, oh, weird. Weird. Does that mean something was in my way? Darkness surrounds you from all directions. And? And? I can't move. Your head hurts. You feel like you're losing your mind. Finally. This whole place. The climax. Oh god, okay, he is losing his friggin' mind. Uh, apparently that was a little temporary stopover. Who, who dare? And, and how do we talk? Okay, Kaiser. You are late, you know. Do I know Kaiser? Whether I've met them or have just uh, heard about them. If you've come to witness the birth of the new era, the birth of a new god, the logic, the machine god is online. Did I make it online? Probably, right? Talking about yourself, I've come to take you down, Kaiser, at the machine god. Since the dawn of man, we have strived for a power that would rival the very gods we worshipped. There has always been kings and sultans who pursued that strength to no end. Even if I fell into that trap at one point in time, it is but a never-ending cycle that only feeds itself but leads to nowhere. If we chase that power, we are always looking at the big picture from behind. We cannot see the forest for the trees. Seeing the big picture from behind. That's a cool one. I don't think I've I don't think I've heard that before. Instead of needing to birth something new. That time has finally come. The true unity of mankind is before us. A true god born from humanity, not from the old world. A god that is not born from the powers borrowed, but from our own strength. This is the moment in time our whole existence has strived for. We crafted that fate ourselves, with our own hands. Now, as a joint conscious, we ascend. I think I want to put my gun away. <laughs> the breath of the machine god is still frail, however. In her current fragile state, I cannot let you near. No, let me. I want to kill it before it is powered up. So prepare yourself. Ah, shit. It immediately goes into a fight. With... With the Kaiser. 
a asterisk as well as pretty standard okay um well let's take out the ones holding the sword that seems like a good starting point and um no i do want to spend two of you on glass shards because i don't want that to miss the asterisk it does damage not a crazy amount but yeah that's gonna happen oh right i still have the gun uh it can use loving whispers but it, it came from that arm so that um oh shit oh shit <laughs> Okay, and the Asterix attacks. Okay, what do I prioritize? Because the Asterix is attacking a lot. The sword hand attacks everyone, and the other hand heals it. Stopping it from healing itself has got to be the biggest concern, right? I also, I don't, I'm not, I'm not holding any, like, grenades or anything, am I? I, I really don't think so. Um, the saw blade is the best thing I have, but I, I don't think it's actually that strong. S small fire attack. Oh, ooh. But can I... Ah, I wanted to see if I could, like, use gas on it and then light it on fire. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, that's... I guess... I guess we're just going on the offensive. Let's bob and weave. Let's get that evasion up, actually. You're a little bit injured. Everyone's a little bit injured. This is a turn of survival and uh, and, and trying to improve my chances a little bit. He's, he's just, he's gonna heal like every turn. So that, that really tells me what a priority that's gonna need to be. Butterfly edge. Whoa, okay. That's, uh, I'm uh, immediately glad to have my, my bob and weave in place. Let's uh, everyone. Ooh. No, the rot. I want to get the rot going. Okay, another miss. That's a little bit lucky, I think. Oh, wait, we've at least done more damage than that thing is capable of healing. <laughs> as far as I've, I've come to understand it. It. Oh! Oh, wow! That's one of the few things. Does that happen on all human characters? But a lot of them are like already weird undead creatures or whatever i think that's like the first time i've actually seen rot change something that's messed up it's very cool <laughs> i'm i'm into it uh let's also flesh puppetry let's let's get that out there let's finally make use of that oh big crit that was a shitload of damage that was so much damage come on yes okay okay that's so good um, please keep using that against Marco. <laughs> hey, Flesh Puppets bashing around the Asterix. That's great. Good, good work. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is going all right. I'm, I, I'm terrified of, of uh, speaking too soon, but let's, let's try and really... Do you know what? If the flesh puppetries are, are attacking the Asterix, maybe that's what I should have done too. But I don't like that that sword hand can attack everyone. So that's kind of why I... Yeah, that's kind of why I chose that as my priority target. Oh, okay, so the flesh puppetry is kind of just going to do whatever then. I, I don't think I have a ton of control over that. Uh, let's, let's keep going on the sword... Was that not an extra turn? Oh, maybe that was last time that I had an extra. Okay, um, yeah, let's keep going on the arm. At, at this point, yeah, I think that's, I think I'm correct to stick with that. I'm gonna healing whisper and potentially the next turn, I'm going to use lavender or vodka on Olivia. We'll see what state the party's in after that. We're, we're kind of uh, at the end of everything here. I wonder if because I started this playthrough with an extra long video, if that's just how I wrap it up as well. Because otherwise it'll be really weird to try and find a, a point in time to, to split things up anyways. I basically think I have to recover Olivia here. 
And as much as I would love to dodge and weave you again, you have the rev. Let's just spend it while it's there. And uh, uh, Olivia is just going to get slammed, dammered, drunk. This is like my last opportunity to heal mind. Um, I guess maybe I can use the lavender after this fight, assuming I survive. Okay. Okay. Do I worry about the asterisk? Is that is that what I go attacking next? It's probably this thing's primary damage source, so I think so. I think that's what I want to do. And, yeah, you have all that rev stored up, but uh, this is a lot of damage spread around the party right now that I'm a little worried about, so. This is going okay, though. Black Orb. Did I speak too soon? Because that just hit me so many times. Holy shit. Okay. I'm really fucking glad I healed when I did. You just keep clawing that guy to bits. Hey, did I blind it? If I ever did, it wore off. So maybe, maybe I do do that again, actually. Do do. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the black orb, if this thing is like a magician and it just like uh, missed shit. I knew I should have done it twice. Oh wait, Asterix is gone. Oh, he is using the black orb. Fuck. Fuck, I might have just like lost the game. <sighs> Don't attack his legs. Cause that we we still have to fight the machine god. And now we're down a down a character. Oh, it was so close. Oh cool. That was cool. Here lies Marco. <laughs> what do we think? What do we think? Uh, well, first we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. Um, can you just huff some lavender? Max mind heal plus five percent. What does that mean? Okay, I, I'm holding a lot of it, so let's just charge that up as much as we can. Um, I guess I could use vials at this stage. I got a lot. I got quite a lot of healing potential. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we go into this next part. The white womb of logic. You know, I like I'm tr I'm trying to, you know, I guess lean into not having a, an emergency save the tiniest bit here by by seeing how this goes. A monolith stands before you. I think that's one of the only times that, like, the overworld and in-battle art are the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Logic 1. There's there's nothing else to target. So I guess I'm attacking that. And not for much damage. Okay, okay. Various tanks. This is I need I need two people who whose job it is to attack. Hey, hey, that uh crit was pretty good for me. Oh, that hit everyone. The exhaust system is running full force. Oh, I see. So uh letting that build up is no good. Oh, they're not that strong. I thought I only killed the one because I because I landed a crit. Extra attack. It's not ready for that. Oh, I didn't pet pill anyone or anything. Um, I think it's kind of pointless. It's probably pointless to push this fight because I, I, I'm just getting wrecked. I am just getting wrecked and without having anyone else with me here, it's it's no good. So I, th I think I have to go back to the Kaiser fight. And I, I'm okay with that. I thought I would check it out. I, I'm never going to get through this with, with two people. <laughs> Oh shit, is that Kaiser right in the, the opening sequence there? Like approaching the tower? It might be. Um, that might be a character who's who's been a part of the whole story to an extent I wasn't aware of. So I, I guess I uh, having the gun out is, is the wrong move. I don't want that. 
if I like eat pet pills before walking up to that, I doubt they'll still be in effect by the time that fight kicks off. So I'm not going to do anything like that. I assume if I run off in other directions in here, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I, I, that's not what that part is about. It's it's just, uh, I don't know, your mind breaking during a transitional scene. Hmm, but maybe if I took pet pills now? Or, I, you know what, I think I only have two pet pills left, so I should probably save them for what is very clearly the final fight. I'm, it's a machine god. That thing is definitely the final fight. I guess I should have chosen a different uh, part of the dialogue there. Nice. Immediately managed to get a critical on the on the snake arm. Yeah, it's going to heal a little bit, but I'm, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, yeah, that, that balanced out pretty quickly. Quite the, quite the spread of damage. Uh, I'll get you on the bob and weave again. That was... It was actually super useful. The rot, based on the fact that I can see what the rot does to the character, makes me think that's pretty pretty damn strong. Wow, okay, landing the 2,000 on that arm twice still wasn't enough. Okay, okay. <laughs> pretty dodgy. That's, uh, that's lucky me, honestly. Let's... Let's pass a heal around the room, shall we? Especially knowing a few more attacks are going to be landing soon. Oh, that's got to be right on a line. Damn it. But um, I'm doing more damage than it is healing. But it's it's enough to have uh, some concerns raised, I would say. Glad I healed when I did. Mm, extra turn for Frunk. I don't entirely know why. But I'm I'm stoked about it. Right? Hmm. Maybe not. Why does that happen? It shows extra turn for like half a second, and then it doesn't actually end up being the case. I'm not entirely sure what's happening in that scenario. Yeah, we'll we'll just get you attacking as well, Olivia, I think. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if he starts using the black orb once a specific body part is removed or a certain amount of damage is taken or like when exactly that comes into play. Oh, I should have used the severed limbs that turn, I think, probably. Um, or whatever it's called. Something, something along those lines. I could heal this turn. I should, I should, because... Uh, he has that, like, butterfly edge thing that attacks so many times that he could kill Olivia if he targeted her with it. 53 health. I kind of just want to keep that in mind while we see what happens here. So I probably would have gotten away with it, but I, I'm, I'm glad to have not risked it in that s instance. It does suck uh, that, you know, she has all these rev points she can't spend at the moment. Flesh puppetry, that's the thing I want. <sighs> Risky right on the line here. Oh, I, again, lucky. I've been lucky that missed. Nice. Yeah, go after the arm. The arm's what I want to take out right now anyways. See, extra turn. It says it and then it doesn't actually happen. I don't know what, where that's coming from, or like why that is. I've already, I've already been working on the sword, and I think I should continue with that. Uh, I'll need to dip into the vodka here soon, but f okay, I, I'm already glad with how I've spent this turn with uh, committing Olivia to a heal. But, uh, I, she really wasted all of her rev points, but, you know, I, I think I'm okay with that. We've done quite a lot of damage to the body already from some of the other instances where, like, a, a limb was severed and the, the spare tax attacks left over ended up there instead. Uh, I assume attacking its legs has no real benefit, so I'm not going to worry about that. Nicely done. 
The thing has a fair amount of health, though. Maybe we get Marco bobbing and weaving again soon? Oh, fuck me. Um, shh, don't attack his head. No! Oh god, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I always forget who's faster between you two, so I actually don't know what the better approach is here. Um, I, th I, I think I want him to just chug a, a potion. I think I want you to use one of these on yourself, man. I I think that's I think that's the right call. It feels like it at the moment. Damn it! Well nothing was faster than that, so that was happening no matter what. That sucks. This fight is like right on a line, cause like there he is, he's dead again. Twice, twice he killed Marco, like the turn. I, I better I better make sure to redo his bob and weave as soon as it stops being available. Yeah, I need to keep that going. I might as well get her um, using a bunch of lavender. Going into that fight with some of her mind already lessened, weakened, is, is not great because that means at some point in the fight I have to spend the time drinking the vodka and if I can get away without that that would be great so here let's uh are you talking about yourself no I, I've come to take you down Kaiser many have come for me if you wish to challenge me I won't deny you the honor prepare yourself see he says that and then the fight starts he's not actually giving me a chance to prepare myself kind of bullshit if you ask me he's making it up um let's go back to using glass shards the the one and only time i might have only tried to do that the one time against this guy and missed <laughs> um so let's not mess around with that this time let's make him blind that is a thing that i want to happen there you go get all that glass in your eye all of it you can heal it all you want you'll still be blind as a guy with glass in his eyeballs <laughs> You watch it, mister. God damn, man. <laughs> uh, he's not even blinded. Maybe you can't blind him. Because that was three separate of that. So that, that might have been a wasted first turn. Which means this entire attempt is, is kind of off to a bad... Uh, off on a bad foot. So I'm not expecting a lot here. I got some bob and weave back. Just immediately after Marco got kind of nuked. Olivia will do a heal. But just, she always recovers her mind, so like, uh, spending that lavender beforehand, I guess, probably wasn't that necessary. Jeez, man. Oh my god. <laughs> That's okay, though, because at least I should be able to spend all of this. And I'm, I'm, I'm counting on the boys a little bit to finish off the one arm so that I don't end up spending all of that uh hitting the the torso good good because now you can start doing damage to the other arm. landed a crit in there that went really well oh she lost an arm oh and the asterisk got her anyways so that's uh that's a failed attempt again there now starting with all the glass was a, a mistake that set me back are you talking about yourself? Might as well see there. Me? <laughs> That's a cruel joke the fate has played on me time and time again. At one point in time, I did think I would be the one to lead us all to the promised land. My ego led me to believe I would be the one true god worshipped in the coming age. But alas, the world is much too capricious and chaotic. It was never for me to rule. But chaos itself is not something to be dreaded. Chaos is but a transitional phase. Where it leads determines where that chaos is a negative force or not. Since I've embraced the chaos, I've even come to surprise myself. I was able to abandon my ego and leave that miserable being endlessly wandering in the dark green. My self that remains only aims for the betterment of mankind and altruistic love. My role in the greater scheme of things was to arrange all the necessary chess pieces to their places and set the wheels in motion instead. I'm at peace with my role at this point. So no, 
The true God I talk about is not me. Fate hampered my plans in a form of a young woman, a person who was completely clueless of the power struggles of the old world. She became the symbol of our evolution by pure coincidence. Maybe it is only fitting that a youngling like her would lead the world to a new tomorrow. If it yearns to change, the world needs to forget the past, me included. The breath of the machine god is still frail. Okay, so, and then we go into battle. I, I assumed all three of them would lead to battle, but it is, it is interesting to flesh that out a little bit more. So I might as well just start with Bob and Weave. The more I can do, I guess, to limit the amount of damage the party is taking, then I, I should really commit to it. So whatever 300 damage or whatever he would have done, it, it's, it's fine. Uh, especially since he's getting focus fired really hard. What's that all about? Where's that coming from? <laughs> now, now I think I legitimately need to use like a potion because that's because uh, the damage isn't spread around. It's it's not really worth it to use Olivia's thing. Um, so I think that's the right call. <laughs> uh, I, sh I should do uh, the flesh puppetry. Yeah, that, that weaving, dodging, weaving, it's good stuff. Uh, I think, I think I can afford to do flesh puppetry. I was going to say I would have to get really unlucky with who this thing chooses to attack. Oh, it's still not enough. Uh, and he'll probably still attack once more with the sword, right? Probably. Should only do like 20. Okay. But, oh, don't attack the leg. Yeah, the asterisk. Oh, the asterisk is getting an extra turn. I think that's why I'm seeing that on the screen there. Which, like, horse shit. <laughs> you don't need extra turns. Um, I basically just have to use this and hope that the asterisk doesn't attack Olivia. Some, some degree of luck there. Small, small semblance of luck. Okay. Okay. At least we got rid of the healing limb. We should be effectively healed back up. There it is. That's what I was waiting for. Lost her arm again. Oh, I haven't applied rot. Uh -huh. Okay. You... Try and attack the arm. I think I want to use a regular vial on Olivia, and I want her to apply rot. Okay, maybe I should have used a stronger potion. Maybe that is enough. The 70 or... Oh, yeah, because she has the bonus healing thing. I probably should have used a regular potion, really. Oh, man. Oh, God. Her... She's had to spend a lot more of her mind than I thought she did. That's uh, that's a little rough, actually, that she's kind of already in that hole. Oh, that was wrong. I shouldn't have done that. Um, she, she should probably... I'm, I'm risking it a little bit here. She could have done a heal without that. I don't know. Oh, Marco can dodge and weave again. Who's the asterisk going to target? Is that just torso dodge? You're spreading it around on the legs. You fool. What are you doing, man? Um, well, now, now he's got the rev available. <laughs> and because it takes so long to build that up, I, I think I kind of just got to go for it. Um... She has to heal this turn. Has to use the heal. Like, if I take out that arm, it'll be so worth it. It'll be close. Okay, and I still managed to get time to heal. That was a concern for sure. Dad, fine, thank you. Uh, don't attack the head. You're attacking everything I don't care about you attacking. Stop it. <laughs> Stop doing that. Okay, you can hopefully take out the arms. It can't heal or anything, so that should be pretty, like, good. 
Uh, it should be kind of devastating. I'm hoping we'll see. I don't know about using that again. If if I could or if it would achieve anything, um, you attack the Asterix. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping Frunk can take out that arm. Good, good, good. But now the black orb is probably in play. I, I'm very uncertain. I definitely need... Do I maybe I maybe I just focus the torso? Uh, I don't know how much damage I've done to it so far. And you have to heal. Nice fading. Because if, if I get some crits on the torso, this thing doesn't have like the craziest amount of health. At least one of those missed. They maybe he maybe could have weathered all them hitting. So he has that little bit of extra health. But it's still a concern. He's mangling the legs some more. It's kind of, it's a little bit pointless, but sure, whatever. We can rev Marco. This will be, this will be good. This will be good, a good damage dealing turn. Sick. You got it, Marco. Get your revenge, man. You didn't want to go after the guy who was actively being dodgy, please? <laughs> Attack the body. Just keeps going after the legs. Maybe I should have targeted the Asterix. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I think... I think Marco. I think I'm going to get you to use... A, uh, hmm. 50, but he could take more damage. Use, use the light. I don't know. Use the light blue vial. Do it. And you'll rev up and contribute some uh, attacks this turn. Okay. There it is. There it is. Holy shit. You can't even like raid his body or any shit like that. All right, put a stop to the bleed. Um, oh wow, I have no liquor of any kind left. All I have is that lavender, 17. I would need 20 to get her up to 100%, right? I think it's still worth it to use her. I'll save here <laughs> in case the choices I make in preparing my party are especially poor so let's let's drop that save and my thinking was well first off actually heal the team and then and then spend all of the lavender does anything else do max mind body heal is that just the lavender that does that hmm i, I like never previously understood that that's how that worked. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Used most of it. That's fine. Don't care. Uh, is there... Uh, I, could, I could craft more of those. I could craft more of these. I could craft another of those. Let's... I, I don't know. Just throw some of those together. Um, the pet pill and the vial. I, I feel like I don't... the What that turns into is not something I want. And... I guess I could take heroin. Because <laughs> um, withdrawal won't matter anymore. I think that's very much like a Levi-specific thing. So I won't use it on everyone. Oh shit, I kind of... Didn't recall that it showed that. Maybe I've never actually used it. Oh god, he tr trips out. He's 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 immune to pain and horror or something for a little while there. That it seems like juicing everyone before this fight is the right call. I mean, juice in like a general term, but it kind of kind of fitting, isn't it? Um. Every, everyone just go to town. On this first turn. I, uh, yeah, because you can't attack the, the tanks anyways. Okay. 
Okay, pretty, pretty deadly. Uh, let's... Oh, he's got an extra turn. Right, because the pep pills. Uh, okay. So you two can take out two of these tanks. You sh should be able to. Okay. Good. Good job, team. So far, so far. Uh, I think even Olivia, you're on beat, beat up these tanks duty here. Because it'll just be the one more turn where they, uh, X2. So attack twice. Jesus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, extra turn from, uh, from Frunk. And extra turn from Marco. Frunk has higher damage dealing potential. Uh, and these things I don't think have a ton of health. You just basically do damage to them, I think, is, is all that you're really trying to do there. I am going to bob and weave Marco again. Um, I I guess let's get the flesh puppetry out. Because uh, they could they could potentially attack the tanks and, and things like that. So that could be quite helpful. Okay. That's getting a little worrisome. Frank, you, you gotta, you gotta. What just happened? Um, my, my A button on my controller keeps getting stuck. And it is like flipping through interactions in a way that I, I don't like. Little concerning. Um, let's rev you up, Marco. Now is the chance, I think, to kind of wail on, uh, on this thing. Presumably, it'll, it'll start gearing up its tanks again. Kind of just waiting for that. And let's... Do we think we can use Rot on this thing? I feel like it's... The whole point is that it's partially still human, but the part I'm fighting sure doesn't look human, so that's kind of hard to say. Ah, oh, I didn't quite dodge it. Did it work? Doesn't Rot. Hey, okay, thank thank you for that. Um, flesh puppets. Extra attacks. So everyone everyone should get a chance here. And now, tank, uh, tank three. How do I target the last one? How do I target the last one? Oh shit, it's really hard. There, there it is, there it is. The Marco's kind of like just in the way, so it's, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to miss one, you know. I both hit. The exhaust system is running at full force. Mm -hmm. Uh, I thought that had to do with the the tanks, and I thought I like interrupted that from happening. So I'm I'm not entirely sure actually what's up with that. I guess I could try and talk to this thing, but whatever. <laughs> Let's do orders. Let's do that as an extra turn sort of deal. I still have evasion for a little bit. It lists it as logic one. At some point, there's going to be logic two, isn't there? Okay. Uh, yeah, just regular attacks. I think... Oh, I'm. I was really debating whether or not I should try and use um the heal this turn. <laughs> oh, her roots. Her roots would be really, really useful in a scenario. So that, that's the orders. Everyone getting their extra attack, and now the flesh puppetry. I got a lot of different ways of dealing damage here. Um, her roots would be really good for dealing with all the tanks. I should maybe keep that in mind, but, like, in terms of, like, turn order and stuff, I don't know how well that would actually work. Right, these are just extra attacks. Okay. This is good, man. I think, I hope. Um, now I have to hope that I, I'm fast enough here, because I'm, I'm kind of really pushing it. I'm trying to not jump the gun. Try not to jump the gun with healing. But maybe that was a little too risky. Because I don't know. He, he could so easily um, 
bust out skills that I, I'm unaware of or unprepared for, you know? No, I, I'm... I'm just gonna spend their extra turns beating on these tanks. I, I, I'm... If I have these extra turns or whatever, I, I'm, I'm too scared to try and do it any other way. Uh... No, this could work. This could work. Um... You guys attack. You know what, Marco? You you go back to bobbing and weaving. That's worn off, so let's let's get that going again. Roots takes two revs, which is exactly what she has. So let's let's try that. We should be we should get to do that before it activates them or whatever the hell would happen. Holy shit. And is it just like any damage dealt? Okay, that did mitigate it. There's that that worked how I hoped it would. You are spending your extra turn healing. You you have to, man. <laughs> I'm too petrified of, of leaving you that hurt. Okay. And ooh. ooh. Shit. Yeah, Olivia, you don't, like, recover mind better when you're guarding, do you? Is that a thing? Because that, that's, like, the last time she can do to heal everyone until she's recovered a little bit. But, like, that's going to take a few turns. <gasps> Her mind is getting drained at, like, the same rate. Uh... Am I totally screwed for not having, like, liquor as a part of this fight so that I can, I can recover her mind? I feel like I'm in a bit of a bad way. Maybe I should have never done the roots, because I, I, I could have... I, I could take out the tanks without the roots. Um, they cost 25? Maybe I should have saved that. Guess I'm just attacking this turn. <laughs> I'm not dealing that much damage to this thing. It has me pretty worried. Fuck. Okay. Tank six. Tank four. If this A button gets stuck at the wrong time, it could really fuck. <laughs> I'm very concerned about that. Okay. I can take all those down again. I really, I've yet to see what happens when they all get charged up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Good job, hands. You two, they, they're doing great. They're contributing a lot of damage. I'm, I'm pleased with their uh, contributions here. I think I kind of need all you guys to, like, be chugging potions and things. We'll get the two of you healed up a little. I think that's good for now. I think... I, I could try and talk to this thing, but it, it, it seems like not a great use of anything. <laughs> Let's just keep attacking. Marco's about to lose his bob and weave. Uh, I'll try to keep that in mind. Olivia's needs to heal. Shit. <laughs> Every miss is devastating. Okay, okay. Flash puppetry is pretty dope, man. Uh, yeah. This is tense. Good crit, bad miss. The, the music during the section, it's very ambient and atmospheric, so music is kind of, you know, air quoting on that. Uh, but it's cool. It, it's very, very cool. I guess rev up. Uh, the fact that I can't replenish her mind. What I could do is equip her with two of the things that slowly recover your mind. The hand of creation appears. The hand of destruction appears. Oh no. 
Where's the other one? <laughs> uh, <sighs> My lack of healing potential here has me so stressed. Um, or, you know, just severely limited healing potential. Yeah, I think just keep attacking. I think just keep attacking for this, for this turn at least. Oh no! Okay, yeah, okay. And you can do Black Orb! Doing all the things Kaiser did. Moth Swarm? Ripping you to bits. Oh, cool. One shot. Great. Feckin' fantastic. What kind of bullshit's that? Oh, this game's such a piece of shit. <laughs> Why does anyone ever play it? Like, uh, am I even gonna be close to destroying this hand? Like... I'm gonna assume this thing's got a lot of health. Hurting! Pretty literal. And healing. Didn't heal for a ton. Oh, and Marco's dead, because that's... I, I guess some could miss. Nope. Nope, uh, couldn't couldn't get so lucky there. Alright, they're, they're killable. It's, it's, uh, it's possible. Uh, I guess I just focus on you. I don't know if the other hand, like, yeah, it's going to heal you. And I just got to hope I deal more damage. <laughs> You're... Oh, oh, they heal you. Great. Good. Good for me. That's fantastic news. Use your spare turn. <laughs> um, I just hope I get lucky with crits. Uh, I don't deal that much damage to this thing. It's outpacing, it's, it is outpacing me in the heals. Well, that's fucking brutal then, isn't it? Uh, I guess we go to town on this hand and hope that works. Okay, okay, that's the sort of crits I want to be doing. <sighs> Moth Swarm is brutal. Yeah, definitely got to spend every few turns on a, on a heal. And then pray for a crit. Can you imagine if I didn't have saves, if it all came down to this, if all of this effort, hours and hours of trying to proceed through this all came down to this shit? Alright, I'm using the extra attack this time on the hand. Nice critical. Nice critical. If I win with one character, I don't fucking care. Those other, I, I, I'm, I'm glad to have had them for all that time. Yeah, they, they served me well as a part of my party. But if it is possible to kill this thing right here, right now, I'm fine with it. Is it just gonna keep moth swarming? Is that like it's one move? I, I'm. I doubt I can glass eye this thing. It's a machine. Or at least, like, most of it's a machine or whatever. Um. You fucker. I'm scared he's gonna bust out some other attack. So I don't know. I'm down 60 health. He's clearly doing something like 40, 48 with those moths. I'm gonna chance it a little bit. Ever so slightly here, I am going to chance it. A crit. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, something like that? It, it was something like that. Um, <sighs> okay, I'm down to just the mix herbs. 35, well, it'll show me, right? 75. 75 is what I'm healing with that. How much health you got there, Logic? I'm going to assume it's quite the pool. I'm so I'm so lucky that luck is like the wrong, but you know, I, the fact that I'm able to heal some. Oh, yes, this sword was important. I think having these critical 
more frequent criticals was really important to this. 80 down to 40, back up to 50. So, he will take me down to 10. But, healing for 75. Uh, I'll, I'll be back up to... But I have the replenishing health. As long as he doesn't do any other attacks, I think I'm okay with this. And if he only does 40 with those friggin' moths, and then I will heal some, which is the main thing I was thinking, because I would be able to take the mixed herbs back up to full health, but then I wouldn't benefit from that. And I want to be as efficient with my remaining healing items as I can. So that was, I th riskier, but I think it maximized it. I don't know if those moths can land critical hits, you know? There's a concern there for sure. Uh, yeah, just keep attacking, man. Now and again, maybe I'll get lucky with the crits. Uh, order charge is not going to matter. I could try blood sword, but I don't even really understand it at all. I, uh... Ooh. Is what he's doing an otherworldly power? Oh, 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 oh. I can also use those. I'm okay with spending a turn here on the talisman for magic defense. M for moth defense. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was not a bad decision. I have those as like a backup this is a bonus turn I do have that magic defense still so I think I will allow that one more time here and he's he's healing less for that as well right so I kind of benefit from that on both sides I have one more mixed herb after this I have some I have like a shitty potion like I, I'm I'm running low on my best stuff for sure. Nice, nice. How much health do you have? I, like I, as soon as as soon as I lost one character, I was like, oh, well, pretty pretty low odds. As soon as I lost two, I was like, oh, okay. Well, I I have lost. The fact that this is still going, I have a little bit of goosebumps because like I want so badly, I want so badly for this to work to actually push through this goddamn fight here. Still, still in a safe zone. Keep landing those crits, bud. It's like a thousand, it's like a thousand damage. That's time for another mixed herb. I know I'm right on a, a line there. Uh, Oh, oh, I, I did run out of my uh, magic defense. But I, I, I want to spend the rep as soon as I have it. I want to be mindful of that own bit of economy in this game. So I, I, I probably could have used uh, another one of those at a, a different time. And it would have... It's fine. It's fine, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's such bad luck. Okay. We got some time. I got quite a few more potions. If this is what this battle is going to be, is just trading this back and forth. I got a bit of time here. 65. Yeah, so it drops you by about 30. Yeah, it's, it's five times the, the number it's showing. So that's, that is working how I'm expecting. I could guard on my non uh, attacking, on my non extra turns or whatever, but I, I do not think it's worth it. We're using the condensed blue. Let's get you back up to like full, full health, properly full health. Uh, magic defense will last two more turns. I can worry about that again shortly. What do I even, what do I even say? Oh, oh, don't, don't spend the rev yet. I thought I was there. 
I got the, I got one more magic defense here. Um, oh, although the annoying thing is that I'll, I'll gain the revs at the same. Yes, that's kind of how that. But I have the. Okay, it's fine. I'm, I'm overthinking things. I'm all, I'm all flustered. Use the talisman on your extra turn for that extra protection because it's pretty important. I think I've held in longer specifically because of that. Do I need to be talking to this thing? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Uh, it feels like a risk I don't really want to take. I think, I think I'm just going to keep attacking. I don't want to waste a turn doing that when this this could come down to the final possible trading of blows based on like based on how this is chipping away i wish i was getting those crits just slightly more often man i went back to a big heal and now, now we're switched to, like, the shittiest potions I have at my disposal. Uh, my, my healing potential is pretty shot. So I've, I kind of have to really hope that this doesn't go on much longer. I don't think there's anything more I could be doing. I think I'm, I think I'm being smart. <laughs> we're crying out loud, man. <laughs> Uh, we have one more talisman. That's our that's our last chance for that. <laughs> I have I have this like glimmer of hope with every individual attack. Like may maybe this is the one. Maybe this will be the one that kills it. Do you know what? I guess I could swap out equipment to be wearing the uh like the i don't need the pine scone pine cone pig right now what about what about like anything more defensive or yeah i could have that i was gonna i was gonna have the thing that's constantly healing you just like a second one of those but maybe adding a shitload of defense especially magic defense when that's what this thing oh oh the stone protects, but it, it's a soul devourer, devour? I don't know. I don't know what that thing would do, actually. I don't know if it would um, hurt me in some way. Ten extra magic defense. Sure feels like a lot, doesn't it? I'm, I'm doing it. I'm swapping that out. I don't need the pinecone pig. Um, I wonder. I wonder. What do you do again? Hardened skin that prevents limb losses, burns, and bleeding. Uh, I, if I can swap multiple things this turn. Because the Ring of Wraiths is the thing that's healing me, right? Maybe I should have done this a while ago. Oh, did that count as, like, my extra turn and my regular turn? Or what just happened there? Uh, that did not make as big of a uh, difference in my own protection as I hoped it would. Uh, okay. <laughs> so now, now he'll, he'll take 25 per turn. So, a little better. And I'm only, but I'm still only recovering 10. That didn't get any better. So what do I have? I, I I only have one regular blue vial left. If I don't win in these next couple attacks, it's uh it's over. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what kind of luck I get. I got I got a, I got a crit in there. Recover enough to be able to weather one more moth attack. I won't I won't get one more rev. <gasps> no way! That I used everything in that. Everything! Yeah! Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> right? There can't be anything else after that. 
Uh, just an avatar for the stream of thought. Join me in the promised land. I don't know. We, you, you really made that hard for me. I don't know if I want to join you, Logic. I can't believe that fight worked out. Yeah. Artificial green. Warmth surrounds your body. I feel like the Kaiser mentioned the green. It feels like you're floating in nothingness. Empathy and hope fill you from inside out. You've gone through enough. Now you can rest. Just close your eyes and let the warm waves wash you away. I'm not breathing any sort of sigh of relief here yet. Oh, I can move. Can I go backwards? I can. I don't think there's any reason to, but... What is this wall of humans? Please, please tell me there's no more anything, right? Like, come on. Ending A! The Machine God. Does that mean I just joined this wall, though? Like... Or, or, or I transcend or whatever. Your consciousness gets to become a part of the machine. God, I, I'm very uncertain what just happened. Three managed to survive through all the horrors. You guys just hung back, eh? Never, never took part? Huh. Red Ark is now available in the Hexen. Moth Swarm. Is there like a new game plus or something that you would be able to go through? Or, huh, or does that apply to all, like, how, how do I even ask that? All, all new, any new run you do will now have those things extra? I have no idea. Uh, Rancid Circle is the only fan depiction of the fictional Circle species originally created. Um... Interesting. I just cool seeing that there there were other inspirations and things of how that all came together. I guess uh, for the different creatures. Wow. Whoa. I feel like I just got so tired. I've been playing for three hours fifteen minutes, and that was a gauntlet. Even with the saving, I, that was never gonna happen. <laughs> But I'm actually super, super proud of myself for making, making it through that final battle. I don't even know what the heroine did. I don't know what uh, that added, but probably it was necessary. I, I'm a little bit in awe that that worked out. I'm not doing a second playthrough. Probably never. Never say never, but probably never. <laughs> I, at some point, would like to go back to the first game. I know that this one has quality of life stuff and things that the first one doesn't. Thank you for playing, Frank. <laughs> um, and so it might be a little weird to go back to it, but I also think it was a more forgiving game in a lot of ways. I think you could save more often. You didn't have to worry about the time of day thing. I could see myself someday going back to that to properly finish it and, and do like a completed run because I never, never finished doing so before. But that is probably where I set aside Termina. What a hell of a ride. And as soon as this dev makes another game, I will play it. Whether it's uh, in this series or not, they've won me over. Because they're, they're just doing things no one else is. And I respect the hell out of it. Even if I'm not the sort who can really weather it to the full extent that the game intends for you. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking with me through all this. I don't think I could possibly have said that enough. I hope everyone had a lot of fun watching through it. Uh, I've, it just it does mean a lot. I, I'm looking forward to whatever series we tackle on the channel next. I'm undecided on that. I'm probably going to take a bit of time off before taking on anything as big as this. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.